Hello, so today I'm looking at some of the student clarinets out there. Specifically, I've got um, two of probably the best ones, two of my favourites. I've got the Yamaha 255 and the Buffet Prodige. Um, so I'm just going to play you a little bit on each of them and then I'll talk a bit about some of the features um, and also the differences in the sound. Um, so first up, this is the Yamaha 255. <laughs> And now the buffet prodige. So there you've heard um, both of those clarinets, and actually, um, given their price point, I think they both make really, really good sounds. Um, it's worth pointing out these two models are kind of towards the upper end of the student market, but you do get a lot more kind of for that extra money you're paying, and buying from um, a manufacturer such as Buffet or Yamaha, you know you're getting a really well-made instrument, really good quality, um, and they're gonna last a lot longer, both in terms of kind of the, the quality of the key work, um, but also in terms of how far through the grades you'll be able to get on these before you need to start thinking about upgrading to a, either an intermediate or a professional level model. So a couple of the features that are common to both of these instruments, they've both got um, a lightweight bell so that the instrument isn't too heavy. Um, so particularly for younger children starting off, the weight's not going to be a problem. Um, and kind of coupled with that, they've both got adjustable thumb rests so you can move it up and down um, to wherever it feels comfortable. And they've also both got a hole so you could connect a sling if you needed to take some of the weight off your hands. They are um, both plastic instruments rather than wooden instruments. Um, the main difference actually you'll find between them um, in terms of what they're supplied with is that the Yamaha comes with a Yamaha 4C mouthpiece, which is a really, really good student instrument. And a lot of people, if buying a student instrument, even if it's not a Yamaha, will head for that mouthpiece and buy a, a 4C mouthpiece separately. Um, both these clarinets are very similar prices. They're both very free-blowing, very easy to play. Um, in terms of the difference of sound, um, for me, the Yamaha is a slightly more direct sound, slightly brighter sound, whereas the Buffet, I think, has slightly more warmth um, to the sound. Um, but kind of, if you're a beginner starting from scratch, you're probably not gonna notice a big difference um, in terms of that. One point worth making about these instruments as well is, um, with beginner instruments, it's really important that you buy an instrument that has been set up properly. Um, so it's always worth buying it through a music shop rather than kind of heading for eBay or Amazon or something like that. Um, in particular, Dorks have got a brilliant website. So if you buy one of these from Dorks, it will have been checked over in the workshop um, and they'll make sure that everything is working nicely, all the joints fit, all the keys are smooth and everything. Because they're, they're some of the most common problems you get with new instruments that haven't been checked is sometimes the corks are incredibly tight um, or there might be a key that's slightly sticking. Um, so if you buy from Dorks, kind of you can buy knowing that it's all been perfectly set up, perfectly checked over. Um, so in terms, if, if I had to say kind of buy the Yamaha or buy the Buffet, it's incredibly hard to say. They're both great instruments. Um, there's not really a lot to choose between it. If you want, you can always come down to Dorks and try them out for yourself um, and see which you prefer.